Elmo was not a communist. Are you kidding me? Have no. you watched what they put on that show? Yeah, I watched what they put on that show. The show's been on for 40 years. If he was a communist, they would've shut it down by now. See, that's what they want you to think. America knows. There's a secret part of the TV agency that is trying to corrupt our children's brains. Let me bring you up to a concept. Have you ever seen a... Oh, Jesus. See, Jeff, God gave you those things called hands for passion. What? Oh, shut up, dude. See Amanda just drive by? She waved at me too. She's been riding past her house since like forever. What makes this time any different? I've lived next to her forever, but I've never seen her wear shorts that short before. Think about who you're talking about real quick. You're talking about that weird girl Amanda who spends all her time fangirling over BBC shows. You think I should talk to her? Like, I don't know what I'd say, but... I don't know, because like one of them are standing there staring and she like questions me about something and I'm just like, right. like All right. I don't know what to do. Here's what you do, right? You start talking to her, you say, hey, I'm Jeff. Lived next door to you for 18 years. I always thought you were weird, but man, when I saw your ass in those shorts. Oh, dude, you're an ass. You're right. I'm sorry, Jeff. I mean, if you like her so much, why don't you just ask her out? I'd say it's all fair game. Ask her It's not a bad idea. I'm going to do it. Hi, uh, I'm Jeff. Like, I've been next to you for like 18 years and all, but I've always been too much of it, you know. Yeah. Jeff, I know you are. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I was Jeff. I was Jeff. So, uh, you know, Saturday. I I don't know if you like had plans or anything, but like maybe like oh, I, I'm not doing anything. So. Yeah. You have a Uh, yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna go inside and finish packing a few things. Oh, college. Where are you going? Carolina, so see you Saturday? Uh, okay, yeah. North Carolina, Chuck? North Carolina? You know how far away North Carolina is from New Jersey? That's like... a lot of miles. You're actually thinking about spending the rest of your life with this girl? I don't know, I mean like, I'm going to Rutgers and she's... Wait, you're going to college? Chuck. I'm going to college. I actually want to do something with my life. Maybe I can go to North Carolina. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're actually thinking about leaving me? What am I supposed to do? Besides, you haven't even been out with this girl yet. How do you know you'll like her? Well, Jeff, this has been really nice. Thank you. No problem. I had fun, too. Oh, my God. What? Nothing, it's just my friend. Hey, you two. Hey, Chuck, what are you doing here? I just came by to say hi. That's uh, awful nice of you, Amanda. This is Chuck. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Oh, he's so sweet. Yep, he's adorable. You know, Chuck, you just come down here to say hi and harass Amanda? Yeah, wasn't that nice of me? Very nice. So, uh, what are you guys doing after this? Well, I was gonna drive Amanda home. That's cool. Uh, hey, could you give me a ride? Give you a ride? How did you get here? My bike! What the hell happened to my bike? I was attacked, Jeff. Attacked? In freaking Medford? Jeff, you and I both know that this is the lower class area of Medford. This is Main Street! I've had this bike for so long, how the hell did this happen? Those bastards knocked me on the ground. <laughs> and then they told me to give them the bike, so I got really scared and I gave them the bike and they did this to it, and then, uh, uh, they, uh, they started beating me with the bike, and then they called me names, and Chuck, then... how much that story is absolute bullshit? Yeah, all of it. I just crashed the bike into the table. Yeah, let's go. Get in the car. You owe me a new bike. What the hell?
Hey, it's me. You'd never believe this. No, 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 real quick. Listen, listen. There's this video of me on YouTube called Idiot Crashes Bike in a Table. It's already got like 12,000 views. I know, I know. Crap spreads fast. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a YouTube channel, see if I get famous. Make a video response to this. <laughs> That's true. So you know that YouTube video response I made to the bike thing? Yeah. Got over 10,000 views. People are going crazy in the comments, asking me to make more videos. I was thinking I'd become one of those uh, singers on YouTube who makes all the covers. No, no, you are a horrible singer. How the hell do you know? I've heard you sing like three times, and each time you made the 80s sound good. All right, fine. It's your problem. I don't know. I'm just stressed about college. Well, at least you got Amanda. Everything's going good there, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. We're going out tonight, actually. Nice. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. hey, Chuck, it's Amanda. Oh, good, you see her too. What? You guys are so hot. I'm, I had a lot to drink. So are we still on for tonight? Yeah, I can't wait. I just love giant lizards. What are you guys doing? We're going to see that new movie, Godzilla. Oh, the remake? That uh, sounds pretty horrible, actually. I'll tag along. What? Mm. Oh, this is really good. I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, Hey, you guys want some popcorn? No, nah, I'm good. You want anything, sweetie? No, I just want to be with you. Alright, I'll be right back. Try not to screw while I'm gone. <sighs> Jeff, I don't mean look, to Look, be... I know. You saw the look on my face when he said he'd tag along. I was surprised. Like, I know he's an idiot, but I thought he had a little bit of common sense. I mean, it's fine for tonight, but I was looking forward to it just being us. Yeah, trust me, me too. Hey, maybe we could go to the park Sunday if you're free. It could be like a special date, just the two of us. Yeah, that sounds good. And uh, I'll talk to Chuck tomorrow, and this won't happen again. And Jack? Huh? Nothing. Oh, you idiot, Chuck. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. Man, did Jeff tell you he wet the bed until fresh from the air? Hey Jeff! Hey, what's up buddy? Just wanted to see if you were doing anything on Sunday. Didn't know if you wanted to come over and watch the game or something. Uh, me and Amanda are going to the park, man, sorry. Feels like, you, like we never get to hang as pals anymore. You know what I'm saying? Hey, maybe I could meet you guys at the park. Where are you going? Look, Chuck, uh, I don't know how to say this, but you can't come with us. What do you mean? It's a date for me and Amanda, you know, like just the two of us. No, oh, I get it. Like the third wheel or something. No. All right, yeah, yeah. And you know, tri school is just for little kids. What? Well, you know, like you said, third wheel, and there's three wheels on a tricycle. Oh my god, she's making you tell lame jokes, too? You know what, Chuck? You need a girl, and I'm gonna help you find one. I don't know, Jeff. Come on, Chuck, you need someone in your life, and I'm not gonna be around all the time. Look, you and I both know we're not the marrying type. <laughs> all right, Jeff. I'll give it a shot. All right, cool. And hey, we could double date. <laughs> That's true. That'd be cool. All right, we'll get started tonight. I'll see you at Sam's party at 8. All right, I'll see you then. Besides, don't you remember that one time at the club, you were taking me to meet girls, and you took me out one place? What's up, buddy? Yeah, all right. Hey. That's never gonna happen again. And for the last time, I didn't know they were cross dressers. All right, all right. Besides, most of the girls here look pretty legit. I don't think any of them are guys.
look for in a girl, Chuck? I mean, I guess I like whatever ones like me. But you gotta be a little more specific. All right, because the girls who like Chuck Jerome Lewis is such a broad spectrum. Oh, come on, Chuck. There's gotta be some girl that likes you. Jeff, that's like saying small-ass Kardashian. They just don't exist. All right, fine. So, where do I start? All right, well... All right, well, a good start is to take a nice approach. You know, being an asshole only works if you're five inches taller and lift more than 20 pounds. All right, uh... Hey, how about her? What should I say? Just go up and say, hi, I'm Chuck, and then mention what a beautiful night it is. Sounds good to me. Hey, someone get this kid some Ritalin. There was so much penis paraphernalia, I swear. It was everywhere. The immigrants were selling it. Hey, what a beautiful night, huh? I mean, it's pretty cloudy out. The stars are kind of nice. Hold so. that dog. night we have. Oh, gorgeous. I'm Brittany. I'm single. I mean, Chuck. <laughs> You're funny. You want to go sit down? Sure. Oh my god, why does he always do this? What's Come here. Nice to meet you. Uh, it's my friend Jeff. He was uh, dropped on his head as a small yeah, child. Shut up. All right, listen. What, what? What's going on? Dude, why do you have to pick a girl who looks like a freaking professional weightlifter? Dude, her arms are the size of your head. She's not that bad. What? Oh, nothing. I was just shocked when I saw what time it was. Well, before you go, let me give you my number. Oh, uh, my phone's dead, and I can't remember numbers, so bye. Hmm. Jeff, thanks for telling your friend Chuck about giving us some space. This is really nice. Anything for you. Honestly, I'm glad he's going too. Oh, Chuck, I'm so glad we came to the park. Me too, sweetums. What the hell? What is it, babe? Hey, Jeff and Amanda, have you met Brittany? Chuck, you remember our little talk from last night? What talk? Nothing. Good to see you, buddy. Well, Amanda and I are going to get back to our date now. Hey, Amanda, are you drunk or is it just me? Get off her, Chuck. Chuck, I thought you loved me! Oh, oh sweet, I do so very much. Let's go. Okay. Was that a man? Um. Oh, hey, Jeff. Brittany. Wow, hi. Uh, is, is Chuck home? Yeah, I'll get him. Chuck! If it's that old guy asking about the stuff again, I'm not in here. No, it's Jeff! Oh, oh great. Uh, I'll be right down. Okay. What's up, Beth? No, nothing, man. I was just... A... Oh, my... God, is that a rope mark on your No. Hand? No, she, she's a doll. She's R a doll. Right, right. Uh, sure, Chuck, let me ask you something, dude. What does she have, like, downstairs, you know what I mean? Well, like, like uh, I mean, I've never been to her house, so you, you know, I don't know. It, it was a joke. I, I don't right. get it. So, uh, let me get right to the point here. That night that you met her? Oh, shut up, you're just jealous. No, no, jealous, not, not the word. Uh, scared. More the word there. <sighs> Jeff, you're full of it. You know, just because that one night in that one club, it doesn't mean... Jeff, you're just jealous that you don't have a cute little girlfriend like I do. Ah! What's wrong? You know, Brittany, I think we should just be friends. <sighs> I'm guessing she didn't take that too well. Yeah, yeah. Does it look bad? Eh, nah, it's just a little puffy. Ah, uh, good. Uh, she packs quite the punch. Sorry, man. Uh, what am I doing wrong? What do I need to do? Well, you need to stop drinking, you need to get a haircut, you need to get a job, and find somebody new. Sounds like a lot of work. But, uh, 
I think I want to do it. That's what I like to hear, man. All right, I got a lot of chores back at the house, so I got to run. Well, I'll catch you later. All right, see ya. Jeff's stupid girlfriend, Ray. So my friend Jeff, the owner of the girlish bike that I destroyed, just recently got into a relationship with this girl Amanda, and I swear, it doesn't look like much. I mean, whenever I see them, Jeff just talks to me, and I don't know if they even have any conversations. It's a shame how messed up the relationship is. He's known this girl all his life, but it took him a pair of Daisy Dukes for him to actually ask her out. And you could all say in the comments how cute it is, but come on, it's a little shallow. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Chuck, Chuck, what the hell? What's the matter? What happened? What do you mean, what happened? What happened is you freaking broadcasted my relationship online for it to go viral, and it's not even true. Jeff, I was just kidding. No, 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 no. I don't care if you were just kidding. It's not right, man. Me and Amanda are fine, and now thanks to you, everybody online thinks we aren't. You're so immature, dude. You always have been. I'm sorry, Mr. Perfect. I'm going to college in North Carolina with my girlfriend. No one cares, Jeff! Right, that's fine. You don't care. No one does. No, I mean on the internet. No one gives a crap about you and Amanda. They all are watching for the brilliance that is Chuck Jerome Lewis. They all care about me! Why well, don't, Chuck, all right? I've been carrying you around as a dead weight for too long. That's all I am? Just a weight to you? I don't mean anything to you. You did. But I just can't do this anymore. Bye, Chuck. Wait, can't believe this. After all we've been through? No, Jeff. I can change. I don't want you to change, Chuck. Trying to be someone you're not is probably the worst thing a person can do. What have you been watching? Lifetime? Oh, so this is all a joke to you? Bye, Chuck. Wait, what do you mean? Where are you going? I'm going to tell Amanda that I'm going to school down south. I just got accepted. At least I'll be closer to it. What's the matter? Can I come in? Actually, my house is kind of a mess, so can we just hang out back? Yeah. What's up? Well, it looks like I'm not going to college next year. What do you mean? It's just some financial stuff. So you're not going to North Carolina? It looks that way. Wow. Yeah, I just got accepted down there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford it either. What are you going to do now? Uh, stay local, I guess. I don't know. You know, when I was younger, I used to think I had it all figured out. I wanted to be the CEO of McDonald's, but that's when I was 10. Yeah, um, I want to go into the fashion industry, and I mean, I still do, but I just don't know. See, we got ambitions, unlike Chuck. You know, I don't even know if I want to be his friend anymore, but frankly, I don't know if he wants to be mine. What do you mean? I don't know, I just be carrying him around as a dead weight for too long. I just can't do it anymore. Well, at least now you have your priorities straight. I guess so. Well, maybe this will make you feel better. try to convince Jeff I've changed. I got a job and I haven't had a beer in a week. Well, he's not here. He's with John. I really don't think he cares about you anymore and I think you should just move on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just trying to make things right again. I called him a couple times. I left him a message. Just maybe you could try to convince him. Okay, You'd probably maybe. Be... Thank you. Oh, that, that makes me feel a lot better. Say, can I use your bathroom? Uh, can you leave, please? I don't feel like Don't worry, it'll only take a second. I, um, I'm guessing it's in this room? No, don't! Holy crap, Amanda! What the hell is this? Chuck, this is nothing. I just wanted to make something for Jeff that would show him how much I loved him. So you made him a shrine? I mean, a simple love letter or an Instagram post would have been enough. This is... This is just creepy. I think it's time for you to leave now. I'm telling Jeff. 
Go ahead, because last time I checked, you're dead weight and I'm the love of his life. Where are you going? said I could, like, 30 seconds ago. What the hell happened? So the doctor tells me to turn my head and cough, and I'm like, dude, it's been 14 times. How long do I need to be down there? So long story short, I got a new doctor now. Jeff! 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 I need to talk to you! Oh, God. This is the guy I was telling you about. Jeff, Amanda's a psycho. Like, like, Miley Cyrus psycho. Chuck, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the shrine dedicated to your ever being. Oh, dude, you need to stop drinking. Come on, John, let's go. I'm not drunk, and nobody cares about you, John, so just go home. Oh, no, John, thank you. But I'm, I'm serious about the pictures. I went inside Amanda's house, right? And when I saw the picture, she like freaked out at me. Well, yeah, she freaked out. You went inside her house. And the pictures you saw were probably the ones we took last week together. No, no, I'm talking about pictures from like years and years ago. Just stop, Chuck. You really need help, dude. Let's go, John. Hey, Jeff's mom. It's me, Chuck. Can you help me with something? Oh, you don't need to check that, babe. I'm right here. You're right. Hey, sweetie. Hi, Amanda. You need to take a look at this web thingy that your friend Chuck is doing. What? He told me he's making some kind of spooky horror film. Is that my house? I think so. Here we are inside Jeff's creepy stalker girlfriend's house. About to uncover some creepy shit. Here's the room where I discovered the definition of psycho. Oh look, she created her own religion. How nice. I really love this picture of them. It really captures the essence of their relationship. Here we can see some of Jeff's old baby pictures. How she got them is. Not a clue. That's so fake. I would never. Oh, really? Well, let's go over there and find out then. Jeff, no. And I saw him reading his history textbook through the window. The love that I had for him. My diary! <laughs> stop, stop it, dude. Chuck, turn that thing off. It looks like I gotta go. I'll keep you guys updated on what happens tonight. Uh, yeah. You know, we probably could have come here and walk around instead of watching that horror movie. Probably would have been a little bit scarier. Amanda, you have 10 seconds to explain this. Chuck obviously planted it all here. He's obsessed with you and he wants you all to himself. Really? Is that why this says property of Amanda in your handwriting? Babe, we love each other. We have a future together. We're gonna get married and have kids and- You need help, Amanda. Chuck, I think we're done here. Let's go. I don't wanna do it. Oh, hey, Chuck. Nice of you to stop by. I'm just about to head out. We had a pretty crazy summer, didn't we? <laughs> Get it? Because your ex is in the loony bin? It's not a loony bin. For your information, it's a correctional facility. Oh. Well, does somebody have a crush on their stalker? Whatever. How was community service? Not bad, actually. Not bad at all for breaking and entering. Had a lot of downtime. Oh, God, what happened? Oh, no, no, not like that. I did a lot of writing, like a story. You? Writing? What are you, J.K. Rowling now? Shut up. Shut up. It's, I think it's a pretty good story myself, actually. Uh, not too long. I think you'll like it. 
Wow. This is really something. What's it about? It's about these two kids who are best friends, and then this crazy girl comes in and tries to mess with one of them. But in the end, it all ends happily, and they ride off into the sunset happily ever after. Now, where have I heard that before, huh? Now, I like it. What's the next step? Well, I convinced my parents to let me enroll in some film classes at the community college. Anything to get me out of the house. I mean, it's not much, but hey, it's a start. That's great, man. I'm proud of you. Wow. Even as a writer, you are a self-centered asshole. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Ah, uh, don't get all weird on me. And hey, who knows? Next time you see me, I might be famous. Doubt it. Uh, well, looks like this is it. See ya, Chuck. Have fun, and next time, don't pick any girls we're gonna snap you in half. Uh, I'll try my best. Yeah.